circuit to convert binary to gray code. In today's lecture, we will see another logic circuit that converts DC code into the excess circuit. So this is the valid DC code of 0 to 9. We have already known that only 0 to 9 ports are only the valid DC code and rest of, rest of 10 to 16 ports in decimal that are not valid DC. And this is the excess circuit. We know that excess circuit means uh, the code DCD DCD plus 3 is known as the excess 3 code, right? So if a VCD code is 0, 0, 0, 0, then its excess 3 code is 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 3. 3 means in binary in VCD, 3 means 0, 0, 1, 1, that means 1, 1, 0, 0. So the excess 3 code of 0, 0, 0, 0 VCD is 0, 0, 1, 1. So in this way, we, in this way, we, uh, Take the VCD, uh, excess code of 0 to 9. So, this is the VCD code of 0 to 9, and this is the excess code of 0 to 9. Now, we convert the logic circuit, uh, we make the logic circuit that converts the VCD code into the excess code in, uh, by using the KNN in a similar, similar process. So, first, we have to take the first KNN here for the X output. So, you have to take first KNN here for X output. So for X, this is the KMF. So it's a 4, 4 bit KMF here. So this is A B and this is C D. You know the you already know the procedure of how KMF is uh, formed from uh, from this block. So this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the breakout and this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So for, for, for uh, first we have to take the output x. So for output x, which, which outputs uh, give the high output, we can consider only those inputs. So this gives a high output, so 0, 1, 0, 1 is the input. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This can be put as 1. And next this is 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. Next this is 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Next this is 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0. Means this is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And we have to consider another situation here that is, we can see that from 10 to 16, no BC code here because from 10 to 16, those are the invalid BCD. So we have to consider those invalid BCD as the don't care condition in, the, in our KNN. We have to consider that, that case also, but as this case are invalid BCD, so we have to take the in, uh, don't care condition in place of KNN. So what is the 10, so 10 means 1010, 1010, we have to mark this as cross, this is the don't care conditions. Next, as in the right, 1011, 1011, next 1100, 1100, next 1101, next 1110, next 1111. So from 10 to 16, these are all the invalid BCD, so you have to consider in KNR uh, for those blocks as the don't care condition. And we have to, we have to consider these blocks. In, in our rectangle rectangular groups. So now we have to find the uh, we have to find the groups here. So this can be a group together as a a group. This can be a group together as four group and this can be a group together. Three group are possible here. So first group is this group. So you have to take the you have to find the expression here. So this is one one that is x is equal to so this is 1 1 means a and we have to omit the b here and next c is changing d is changing so we can omit c and d here plus then we have to consider this group here so this is 0 1 a is changing and we can omit a here and b is 1 so we can write the b here and next c is changing and d is 1 so we can write the d here plus we, have, we uh, consider this group here so this is a is changing and b is 1 so we can consider b here and this is given as the C here. So the expression of X is A plus BD plus BC. Next we have to take the output of Y. So for Y. So this is the KNF. So this is AB and this is CD. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the breakout. Then 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the uh, 16 blocks in 4 plus 4 KMFs. 
So for y output, this is the how high output. So you can consider these inputs as high. 0, 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1. Next 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0. Next 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. Next 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. Next again this 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. Again you need to consider the load care condition from 10 to 16 for the invariant decision. So this is the load care condition. So now we have to take the rectangular groups here. So this can be this and this can be grouped together for four for uh, four groups. And this can be grouped together. And this can be grouped together. Right. So this can this and this can be grouped together. This and this can be grouped together and this can be grouped together, no other group can be possible here. So the uh, expression of y is equal to, so this is this can be grouped together, so you can consider this group. So a is changing and b is 0, so you can write b bar here, and b bar and this is c is changing and b is 1, so you can write b here. Plus this group, uh, for this group, uh, a is changing and b is inverse, so you can write b bar here, and here c is one, so you can write C here and this is B is changing. Next, we will consider this group. So for this group, this is A is changing and B plus B and this is C bar B bar. So the expression of Y is B bar C plus B bar B plus B C bar B bar. So let's, let me write the expressions in here. So X is equal to A plus B D plus B C. Y is equal to B bar B plus B bar C plus B C bar B bar. Then you have to find the another two elements for the output W and Z. So now for W output, for the W output, so this is the theorem for W, for W. So this is the KMF. In a similar way, you can find the expression for W. This is A, B. This is C, D. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And these are the 16 blocks. So 4 plus 4 KMF. Then for, uh, then for W, you can see here, this is the 1. So 0, 0, 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0, this is 1. Then 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, next 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, next 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So you have to consider the load care conditions here also. So these, uh, these are the load care conditions. Next you have to consider, you have to take the rectangular groups and find the expresses and similarly. So here these four elements can be grouped together and these four elements can be grouped together right you can see from here that these four elements can be grouped together and these four elements can be grouped together no other group is possible here so the expression for W is W is equal to so for this group A is changing B is also changing so we can only claim B here and C is uh, C bar D bar plus for this group A is changing B is changing we can omit the A and B here and this is C D. So C bar D bar plus C D. So the, what is this? So this is a W is equal to so this is a not not D. C not D. So you can see here this is a this is a not not uh, this is a X uh, sorry this is a X not D because for X not D we can we can see that for X not D C bar D plus C D bar is C is or C is or D. We say it's XR gate, but for XR gate, we can take the inverse, we can take the complement of uh, C bar D plus C D bar. So if we take the complement of C bar D plus C D bar, then we can find if that C bar D whole bar dot C D bar whole bar. So this is C plus D bar into C bar plus 
थ्री सो दिस इज सी बार डी वन प्लस सी सो दिस इज एक्स नॉट डी सो यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर दैट डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू सी एक्स नॉट डी सो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू सी एक्स नॉट डी Next another one is here. It is Z. Similarly, we have to find the output Z. The efficient expressions uh, for Z. So for Z here, we can write for Z. So this is the table. This is AB. This is CD. Zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero. So for z, so this is zero 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 zero, then zero zero one zero 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 one zero, then zero one zero 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 one zero zero, then zero one one zero zero one one zero, then one zero 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 one zero zero zero. And we have to consider the Runge condition. So Runge condition is this, and the Runge conditions. So this a can be grouped together. You can see from here that that this a can be grouped. Together, so this one and this one, this a can be <coughs> group together. So what will be the expression for z? So z is equal to so a is changing and b is also changing, c is changing and so only d one. So z is equal to only d one. So this is the expression for z. Z is equal to d one. So we can uh, we have found the expression for x, y, w, and z. So now. We have to. We can build the logic circuit that converts the basic code into the access tree code. Um, how the logic circuit will look like? <coughs> so, how the logic circuit will look like? We see from here. We have found the four expressions for x, y, w, and uh, z. So x is equal to a plus b b plus b c. Y is equal to b bar d plus b bar c plus b c bar d bar. Uh, here in the previous we make some mistakes, and it will be it should be b c bar d bar. Uh, and next and, uh, next w is equal to c x bar d and z is equal to d bar. Now we we have to build the logic circuit that converts the basic code into the access circuit code by using these expressions. So what is x? So x is equal to a plus b d plus b c. So this is a plus b d to the common b, then c plus d. Next y is equal to b bar d plus b bar c plus b c bar d bar. If we take common from b bar from here, and it is c plus d. And if we take common B from here, and if we break this C bar D bar by using the D bar C M, we we found we find it here C plus D whole bar. That is C bar into D bar. So here we can see that it is B bar into C plus D plus B into C plus D whole bar. So that is nothing but B X or C plus D. B X or C plus D. So X is equal to A plus B dot C plus D, and Y is equal to B X or C plus D. Now we have to build the logic circuit here. So this is four uh, inputs A, B, C, and D. If we give the uh, four input basic uh, port in the four input ports, then we will get the access three port at the four output ports. That is X, Y, W, and Z. So first X is equal to A plus B dot C plus D. So this is X. This is X. So this is X, and this is C plus D. So this is C and this is D. So this is for C plus D and B multiplied C plus D. So this is B and this is B dot C plus D. Then A plus B dot C plus D. So this is A and this is B dot C plus D. So this will be for so this is X. So X is equal to So x is equal to a plus b dot c plus d, right? 
So next y is equal to b x or c plus d. So you can uh, find c plus d from here. So c plus d and then b. So b is here. So b x or this is x or c plus d. So b x or c plus d. This is y. So this is y. So y is equal to b x or c plus d. Next w is equal to c x or d. So c x or d. So this is c and this is d. So this is c and this is d. And we have to find the x or here. So this is x or This is x one and this is w. So w is equal to b x one c. Uh, sorry, w is equal to c x one b. So this is c and this is d and this is x one. C x one b and z is equal to nothing but the d bar. So this is d and this is d bar and this is equal to z. So z is equal to d bar. So this is the logic circuit that converts the DC code into the uh, access code. If we give the DC code here in the, the four input ports A, B, and C, D, then we will get the uh, uh, 4B access code at the four output ports X, Y, W, and Z. So in this way, we have built, we can build the logic circuit that converts uh, DC code into the access code. So from the next lecture, we will start a new topic that is uh, decoder circuit, and if possible, we will teach you about the logic circuit that converts the access code into the DC code and that converts the logic circuit that converts the uh, breakout into the binary code if possible. And, but uh, from the next section, we will start a new topic that is the decoder circuit. Thank you for watching.